Welcome RPA Champions, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be creating our first flow in Power Automate. By the end of this video you will know how to create Power Automate flow on the desktop, you will know how to cruise around this studio, the main features of the tool and you will be well on your way on creating your own automations. So let's get started right away. So let's create a new flow and let's call this flow the calculator. So what we are going to be learning in this video, we are going to be learning how to open any application on our computer. Because if we want to start interacting or automating something, the first thing that we need to know how to do is how to open an application. Uh, no, not YouTube. We are going to call this calculator. In some later videos, we are going to be doing some very interesting thing with web automations. But right now, let's focus on the basics. So as soon as we create a flow, we cannot write, uh, we cannot uh, work in it until the studio is open. So uh, right now, our flow is also, uh, it looks like it's saved, but it's not saved. So let's save our flow, all right, so that if we close this, we are not going to lose any of our information. So this is the studio. This is where we are going to be building our automations. On the left side, this is all of the different actions that we have available, the different things that we can do to build different things, such as, for example, let's check out here, copy files, move files, read files. We have some AI services over here down in the end, uh, visual services, text recognition, sentiment analysis. We can manage our mail and so much more. But just keep in mind that we can also connect Power Automate to Power Automate in the cloud and just get a lot more features. But enough of that, let's start with our first flow. So we could either open the desktop recorder and record the different steps, or we could build our process by just dragging and dropping the different components from this side. Now, uh, just one last thing that you should, uh, that you should notice is this pane right here. This is also very simple. At the top you will have variables, you will have the UI elements which are different elements that we're going to be automating and interacting with and then we have some images. So we could use images to verify things, to extract information and so on and we will see this also but not in this video. Alright, so in this video we want to get started with something really simple. So let's create an automation that opens up an application like the calculator and does some basic interactions with this automation. Uh, so, all right, so I believe we have to open an application. So uh, it's right here in the system, but I could also search for it. So I might, well, yeah, I found it, it's here. So once we drag and drop it, uh, the pop-up, uh, a pop-up is gonna appear. So every single one of these actions that you drag and drop has some configuration parameters. These configuration parameters are going to decide how this action is going to work. So in this case, we need the application path. So we said that we are going to be spying the, uh, the calculator. So what we need to do is we need to get the path to the calculator. So to get the path to the calculator, we would go to where the application lives. In, the, in, in our case, in system path 2, shift and left click and copy the path. This works with any application and let's just paste the path. Now let's remove the codes, those are unnecessary. Uh, we can add some command line arguments. So some applications like for example Word or any any other application that we want to open it, we can have it launch with, uh, for example Word, we can launch it and open a document. And here we would say, in the command line argument, we would say which document, for example, to open. Now the working folder, we don't need this right now. Uh, the window style, so uh, we can uh, maximize it, minimize it, and so on. This is more important uh, in, the, uh, in the web. Uh, so we will leave all of this as set. And we can see that a variable is being uh, generated. And this is the variable of... Uh, that represents this application so that we can interact with this application. The ID of the application. All right, so we have created already a little automation that all it does, it starts the calculator. Now, before doing anything else, 
let's start it and let's see if it's working all right it's launching the calculator awesome it, we have created a first automation that has opened a calculator now if we put this in a loop and loop it a hundred times we can open 100 calculators but we don't want to break our computer let's go along let's continue and let's explore some more features so let's make our flow a little bit more interactive but before we continue don't forget to like the video subscribe and comment if you would like to see anything in particular about power automate desktop so uh, just one more thing before continuing i want to highlight how important it is to learn about power automate desktop power automate desktop is such a great tool that has been made available to everybody it has been democratized to everybody and everybody now can create automations that are very powerful and that can uh, really speed up a lot of the work and tasks that they have been uh, doing either at work or personally enough with that so let's continue interacting and adding actions so what we wanted to do is let's in, in this case for this video we are just going to do a couple of calculations and add a few actions just to see how they all work so uh, action that i want to add is ui element so let's search for the ui element so click ui elements in a window so what this is going to do this is going to uh, interact or find the different elements on the calculator on which we want to click on so let's add some ui elements so i will add maybe this button here and then i will add the button plus and then i will add another eight and then i will also add the sign equal i think that's enough ui elements for right now so here we can we have already created a couple of UI elements. So I will select the number four. Uh, with each UI element that we create, an image is generated and saved automatically, and it displays it right here. So that is perfect. And I will also I have the ability to select what kind of click I want to make: a left click, right click, uh, left button down, and so on. This is actually very important because many of the applications web applications especially have different triggers uh, when you uh, left button down left button up and so on the triggers maybe the menu or triggers different javascript components inside of the uh, inside of the web applications uh, all right we will just leave this as a left click and one more cool thing many advanced features that uh, that we're going to see uh, not for this but for web automation really simplify a lot uh, really simplify a lot automating compared to some other tools so we will leave the advanced uh, as default for now and just click save so right now we should have an application that opens the calculator clicks on a button and that's pretty much everything that it does so let's run it and let's see what happens ladies and gentlemen we should open another calculator and we should click the button eight or button equals well it clicked the button equals all right well that's not really what we wanted to do so let's let's change this let's double click on this and let's change four to button four let's click on select and let's save close all of our instances of calculator and let's run this again and see what happens after this we will add another that uh, will send some uh, keystrokes to the calculator and see what happens there all right so did it press anything it has not pressed anything and let's see why left click all right and let's run this one more time and see what happens the calculator is open and it has pressed the button for all right so it has worked now let's add a couple of more steps to this uh, process so let's say we want to maybe send instead of uh, doing all of this business of sending and 
kind of clicking on different things. It might be faster if we send some keystrokes to the application, meaning let's just send the application like four plus eight or something like that. So for example, to do something like that, we let's search for keystrokes. So let's see what we have. Send keys, uh, send key state. So let's try with send keys. Let's add the send keys here. And obviously we can uh, access more information on the Microsoft web page, but I think this is pretty self-explanatory. This is going to interact with uh, the active application. So if we have the calculator that is active, then this is going to send the keys to the calculator or to whatever application that we have. Now, if that application has different input fields, we would have to uh, send the click to that input field. But this is not the case. We could see that in another example. So let's send maybe three plus four, and let's just add another plus before because we're first gonna send the type the button four, then plus three plus four, and that is going to do it. Let's add maybe one more of these. Can we do a control C and a control V? Yes, we can. So we can uh, clone this also, make them a little bit faster. And also let's change and let's put the sign equals. So this should give us the number of our calculation. It's going to open calculator, it's going to click on the button 4, it's going to send some keys, and then it's going to click back on the equal sign, and we should have a number. Now we could also extract that number, save that number in a variable. Well, let's see. This video has already lasted for 11 minutes. I think you guys would like to see something a little bit more exciting and more interesting now. And I also think that before continuing, so 4 plus 3 plus 4, that is, if my math is not wrong, well, if the calculator is not wrong, that is 11. Awesome. All right. This, this is it for our first flow with Power Automate Desktop. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been an amazing, uh, really an amazing uh, tool that has so much potential. So many automations can be done with it. And I really encourage you to start learning it to start using it for yourself start getting more familiar with it uh, and again i want to stress out that it is available with every windows license so it is going to be common knowledge for everybody to be able to use power automate desktop be the first in line awesome thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next video make sure to leave me some comments in the comment section below to tell me what kind of videos you would like to see and have a great day thank you